And with their thoughts on what we heard from the former Prime Minister, we're now joined by Lisa Raitt, the former Deputy Leader of the Conservative Party, former Cabinet Minister in the Harper Government, and now Co-Chair of the Coalition for a Better Future, and Fred DeLore, a former advisor to Stephen Harper and a former Director of Political Operations for the Conservative Party. Hello to both of you. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Listen, uh, Lisa, I'll get you to start us off here because, you know, there were a lot of interesting things uh, that Mr. Harper shared last night, and that included some advice to Pierre Polyev, really calling on him to, to focus more on holding Justin Trudeau's feet to the fire instead of, uh, I guess, presenting policy alternatives. Why do you think he's advising that? Sh shouldn't a government in waiting present their vision to Canadians? Not if in the current climate, uh, the reality is, is that people vote out governments, not vote in governments. And I think the advice is really well placed because that is has to be the focus of any opposition is showing the reasons why the current incumbent government should not be in that seat of power after the next election. That really is the role of the opposition is to hold the government to account and as well point out the difficulties. Now, when a campaign comes, absolutely, you have to put forth your vision of what Canada should be like. But we don't know when that next election is going to be. It could be in the fall. It could be three years from now. And at that point in time, you'll have a greater assessment of what the country needs in terms of a policy change. But until then, you're just going to be putting out policy after policy, and it's just much easier to take apart what the government is actually proposing. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Mr. Harper, um, Fred, uh, started his speech with the need for a conservative uh, renaissance nationally. Uh, talk to us uh, what you think he means by that. Is he talking policy here? Is he just trying to light the fire of conservative faithful across the country? Yeah, this, the people he was speaking to were conservatives at this conference, right? This was a, a closed uh, meeting. Obviously, there was media there covering it, but his his message was to conservatives. And the conservative coalition needs to be united and strong to be able to win. We have Western populists, Quebec, Blue Nationalists, and Ontario and Atlantic Tories that come together and, and need to work together to be able to win. And I believe his message was about unity and working together on that. And when we do that, we can have a renaissance where, uh, and I think what he means in those terms is right now we have a uh, a major fiscal situation where massive massive deficits uh, have piled up over the years and we need a conservative to be able to tackle those and to get our uh, our books back in order mm -hmm. you know uh, you know at least i'll get you in on this because he, he, uh, it was interesting to also hear uh, from stephen harper essentially say that if uh, Pierre Polyev actually leads the next government, that he'll be under much tougher circumstances. Is that a reference a bit to, to what Fred was talking about, trying to unite conservatives across this country? No, I think it's more the economic times that we're living in and the reality of wars in the world, the reality of the United States and incredible protectionist measures that they've put into place. And the fact that we are falling behind more and more in this country in terms of GDP to capita, and in terms of our own prosperity. So I think what he's trying to say, not for me to put the words in the prime, the way I took it, let me put it that way, that's better. The way that I took his message was that Pierre, when he does win, will be facing greater challenges than the Harper government did when they won in 2006. So let me wrap up this conversation with asking the same question of both of you. Uh, having heard Mr. Harper last night uh, coming to Ottawa to, to give the speech to, to the conference, what do you hope Canadians will actually take away from that speech? Uh, Fred, I'll get you to start us off on that. Yeah, I think it's that Conservatives are ready to, to lead and win when that election comes. Um, you know, uh, what Lisa said about how his message is about um, that the fiscal situation we need to fix here and, and the world of issues. It's not about a civil war or anything like that. Those, I, I really think that those times are done. I think the party is united and I think we will come together and under Pierre's leadership, be able to win the next election. Lisa? Conservatives are very much united on one thing. And that is they want to make sure that there's no more liberal Trudeau government in Ottawa and that they want to replace it with a strong conservative national majority. And that will be their focus. And Mr. Harper, giving the speech last night, gave us good feels of great times, you know, past governments that were majorities that did good things for the country. And I think that was what the intent was. And I think it was very well landed. Okay. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us this evening. Really appreciate the time today. Uh, Lisa, I think we're going to be talking next week around the budget, but for now, thank you for the time. Uh, Fred, also thank you for joining us this evening. Really appreciate uh, seeing you. Great pleasure. Thank you for having us.